We've now got Ghost touching down. Choose your squad, Scott. Hello, everybody. This is Mr. Clifftron. We are back. Finally playing the actual campaign instead of the training stuff. So, let's look at the news. So, there's uh, low-density hostiles. You know, they're, they're lightly armed. Battlefield, open mountain, overhang positions, recon operations, stealthy, blah, blah, blah. We may encounter enemy vehicles. Okay, fleeing combat. They'll be identified by specific intels. We can neutralize them by the time that the but but da. Okay, so eliminating driver or destroying vehicle. That should be fun. So yeah, and then we got equipment. All right, now let's choose our team. We're getting into the actual team part now. Yay! Even though we kind of went over that last game or last game, last video. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm rambling and not exactly saying the right things all the time, but you know, that's just me. So, who do we want? Since it really doesn't matter, let's go with Matt Beasley, you know. Seems like a cool guy to, to pick. Alright, now we can choose Grenadier or Gunner. Both of which have the same stats, just one of them's a Gunner and one of them's a Grenadier. I'm gonna go with the Grenadier because I liked seeing stuff blow up last time. <laughs> then medic. De uh, what? No more all this going on. Okay. Ooh, an anti-tank gunner. Hmm. He looks cool. And a a girl. She's got a long range. That looks cool. But let's see. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm actually gonna go with. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Leisha. Yeah. Because, I mean, I can heal my, myself, and really, I just, uh, I, I've kind of played through this, so I know that it's more open, and there's some stuff that goes on later on, so it'd be nice just to have her. Alright, so, let's see, what should we choose as far as our weapon? Do -do 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 -do. Obviously, it's going to be one of these two. That's Those are my choices for me, at least, because they have more ammo, but... Do I choose this one? Maintains decent accuracy. Do we choose this one? Uh, this one has a grenade launcher, so let's go with that. Now, there's very little difference in all of these, except for like clip size and total amount of ammo. But even that's not that that different. So let's go with the PX4 Storm. All right, and offensive pack, defensive pack, destructive pack. Um, for this one, it really doesn't matter. I, I don't typically use these that much anyway. So let's just go ahead and stick with the offensive pack, and we'll head on. That looks good. So now we get to start the actual campaign and the story. Yay! Go, Scott, you're gonna get pounded unless you take out those artillery pieces protecting the camp. To do that, you'll first need to ID their locations. How you get into position is up to you. Alright. So we need to go over to there. And we are here. That doesn't seem that hard. Oh, gosh. I'm, okay. Just go ahead and get down and peek around the corner. Okay, no one there. Can't see anybody over there. Let's go over that. Feel like there should be somebody right over here. But I do not know. Oh, oh man, I don't have a sight. Did not realize that. Oh well. I don't need a sight. That's okay. I can deal without it. Let's go ahead and advance. Still don't see anybody. Now, my question is, can I silence this? Or is it already silenced? Or... Let me just take that and... Huh. I don't... I don't know. 
Eh, I'll just keep this one out then. But, let's see, alright, we're almost to the little box. Almost, uh, oh wait, wait, we're... Um, weren't we almost? We have contact, Ghost Lead. One. I count one. There. On the roof. Alright, you know what? Go ahead and uh, take him. Snipe him. Can't fire from here, Captain. Need to move. Awaiting orders, Captain. So, I said to snipe him. Got a bad position. Need to move. Oh, God. And, and they used machine guns. That doesn't really make much sense. I'm not like a military expert or anything, but I'm pretty sure sniping means using a single shot rifle with extreme accuracy. But you know, okay, whatever. You know, whatever works. Hey guys. Near the low wall. You wanna wanna go up? Need some air? Oh, 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 come on. The second I go back down... Oh. They did it again. So annoying. Um. No, no, I want to stick with this, but... Let's go ahead and do this. Oop. <laughs> what? Only one of them? Um, I thought I had switched back. No, no, no. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh no. Confusion. There we go. Oh, hi dude. Thank you. Oh, I love it when they make it easy for me. Yeah, so, uh, how's everybody doing? This is uh, the first week, like the full week back for classes, so it's uh, it's calmed down a little bit, which is nice. But you know, at the same time, it's kind of like, uh, I don't want to do classes, I don't want to work, I don't want to have to deal with this. But that's life. Hey, oh, whoops! Check up ahead for hostiles. Yeah, I accidentally hit LB. Good work, Scott. You're now in position. We've given you a UAV or eye in the sky to ID those artillery pieces. You can control her from your crosscom or from your tactical map. Standing by for your targeting coordinates, Captain. Cool. Now I have a UAV. Awesome. Let me see. I'm there. Go there. Yeah, we. I see you. I see more of you. And I'm still flying. Okay, go up. Get out of that. I don't need that. I don't need you. Okay. I see you. Oh, whoops. Alright, can I get... I want to snipe him. But I have a feeling that they aren't going to be able to snipe. So... Die. Die. There you go. Go. Go attack him. Attack him. There! See, now that was a snipe. That was a nice little snipe right there. I, I have to respect that snipe. But, when they just went all, like, machine gun snipe on that, like, the last guy, that was kind of stupid. Ah, Alright, I got him. Yeah, it's no big deal. NBD. This is all me. I got this. I got this. Yeah. So, my room is really cold right now. And I've, I've turned the thermostat like all the way up. It's just really weird. It's totally broken, so I have to work on that. But anyway, uh, right. regroup. 
Come here. Alright. Let's go up this way. Because I want to take the high road. Boom. Now we're talking, Captain. One more to go. Alright. So, that's a nice little windmill with, what is that, eight blades? And there's a bridge. And there's a little plant in the ground right there. And I'm still running, you know, because that's how I do. We have contact, Ghostly. One target. Stay up for that. Two. I see two. West. And I see a third. Make that three targets. West. <laughs> well, thank you for letting me know. Okay. Snipe him. Marksman, on him. Nice. Boom. Alright, Beasley, go. Go move to your position of cover. Now come here and help me. Save me. Save me. Oh, oh god. Okay, he's close. <laughs> Ah, he had no idea. Except he did. So that was actually pretty close. So it was dangerous. But you know that's just how I do. Boom boom time. In 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Boom. Okay, I don't know how they didn't die, but you know, whatever. That'll do it, Captain. Enemy artillery has been cleared. You had a straight shot into Juarez, but we're now picking up incoming hostiles 30 clicks out and closing fast. Your new objective is to secure our rear. General Keating wants to mine Rio Seco Bridge, your closest point of engagement. Check the coordinates on your HUD. Secure and hold the bridge, Scott, until our engineers can wire it to blow. Alright, so now we have some more running to do. Not that way, though. This way. Gotta go this way. Uh, oh, we'll see. There's a little passage here. Hopefully I can take this as a shortcut. Unless it's the only way to go. In which case, then I'm taking the right route. But there's another way over there. So, I took the shortcut. I'm gonna get it that way. Glass half full kind of guy. Okay. Die, people, die. Destroy the vehicle. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Kaboom. Let's go. Let's no 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 you not you're not allowed to shoot at me. I'm I'm Oh oh god. Oh god. Back on me! Warming on you. We're with you, Captain. Looking for cover. I'm I'm totally in need of some healing now. Oh god. I, uh. <laughs> I probably should have been a little bit more careful there. I, uh. I totally should have been more careful. Um. Gotcha. Some epic music going on right now. Top-notch work holding the real estate, Mitchell. Our boys are gonna blow that sorry-ass bridge to kingdom come. So I suggest you hightail it toward the hostile's position. We need to take out that camp. Scott, move to ground transport for extraction. Okay, so I can't actually use my team now for some reason. Oh, I'm also kind of going the wrong way.
Oh. Huh. That's why I can use them, because they're going the right way. They're actually getting out, and I'm not. Well, you know, I wish that I could sprint faster, but I can't. So... Just gonna la di da la da 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 la da da Alright, and extraction. Awesome work on that bridge, Captain. And the way you took out those artillery pieces. Private, can you do me a favor? Yes, sir. Can the chatter and put your foot to the floor. Okay, sir. Right. Sorry. Foot to the floor, sir. Don't you just love it when people follow orders? Scott, to take out that rebel camp, you'll be linking up with loyal Mexican troops. This is Q-Alpha Niner. I'm at the rendezvous point in awaiting orders. Sorry, Q-Alpha Niner. This is Black Hawk 5. Slight change of plans. Hostiles have set up advanced positions on their camp's perimeter, so Captain Mitchell, hoof it the rest of the way. Be careful, Scott. You'll be on your own. I'll bring you in as close as I can, Captain. Hang on. I've got video. Patching it through to your HUD, sir. And the situation in Veracruz has greatly deteriorated in the last 24 hours. The U.S. Embassy is now asking Americans in Mexico to leave the country or limit their movements. Meanwhile, Mexican rebels now claim that U.S. forces are on the ground in Juarez. However, Pentagon spokesmen deny U.S. involvement in the conflict and state that until NATSA is signed, the Americans will remain on the sidelines. It's like we don't exist. Because we don't. We're ghosts. I've got more video incoming. The situation here in Juarez is repeating itself across Mexico, where support continues to grow for the rebels many are calling Los Nuevos Niños Héroes, in reference to the last time Mexican soldiers died in combat against the U.S. at the Battle of Chapultepec in 1847. According to their latest communique, Los Nuevos Niños' stated intention is to remove all U.S. presence from Latin America. Scott, we're gonna put a mule supply vehicle on the ground. It'll have some goodies to help you take the rebel camp, but there's a hitch. Hostiles are now approaching the mule's drop zone. The mule is unarmed and vulnerable, Scott, so neutralize those hostiles before we make the drop. And I mean Prana. Okay. Well, I think after this little bit, I'm gonna end it off. Okay. It's not, he's just gonna kick me out. Knock him dead, Captain. Oh, okay. Now he says something. Okay, Captain, let's get busy. We need those hostiles taken out before we can drop the mule. Alright, well I'm gonna end this off here. Uh it's been been fun. But you know, I uh, I gotta get ready for some classes, so I would like to say thank you for watching. I have been Mr. Clifftron, and I will see you next time. Adios.